Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I just wanted to take you guys through my morning routine. Uh, what I do on a typical morning, what I eat, uh, my juice that I've been drinking every morning, um, and my makeup that I would do for like an everyday look. And then I'm gonna go to the gym today. So I kind of picked out a gym outfit with you guys and talked about that. So just keep watching if you want to see what I do on a normal day. All right, day four. <sighs> it's honestly getting better every day. It's getting a lot easier. Okay, and then you put your vitamin B drops, make a full syringe thing. Check it out. <sighs> okay. A lot easier than before. Okay, now that I've already drank my juice on an empty stomach, I should wait like 15 minutes or so before I eat. So while I'm waiting, I'm just gonna do my makeup. It's just a normal day, I have the day off, and I'm gonna be like going to the gym, running errands, so I'm not gonna put on like a lot of makeup, but I'll just have a little bit so that I look put together and not like a homeless person. So I'm gonna show you my makeup real quick. It's just gonna be sped through, and then I'll show you what I make for breakfast after that. So I've already washed my face just with cold water, and then I've moisturized with the only moisturizer I ever use ever, which is the Olay Complete uh, Daily Moisturizer just for normal skin. And I love it because it has sunscreen on it in it. So my face is always actually a lot more pale than the rest of my body, but I think in 50 years I'll appreciate that because I won't be wrinkly. So my foundation is always going to be a lot darker than what my skin looks like, but that's because my skin's a lot lighter, obviously. Um, so... What I'm gonna use today for foundation is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. I really like it because it has this big doe foot applicator. So, I mean, I like pumps also, but if I can't get a pump, this is just makes it a lot easier. There's no cleanup. So I'm gonna put on that just a little bit because like I said, we're not really going for like a full coverage look. We're just running errands. And don't drag me for wearing makeup to the gym because you know, we always get a better workout when we feel cute, okay? That's why we buy $100 pairs of leggings or expensive gym stuff, because we want to feel cute. So, I just put on a little bit of that. I always start by just blending out my neck so there's not a gross line, since I am so much tanner on my neck. And then I'm taking my Real Techniques Beauty Beauty Sponge. It's not technically a beauty blender. So I love the uh, Makeup Revolution foundation. I also really, really like their concealer, their Conceal and Define. Um, but the color I have it in is super, super bright. I have it in C 6.5. And if I'm doing like a full face of makeup and I want like a really bright under eye, um, I like to do that. But since this is just like everyday makeup, I don't want to like be that highlighted. So I'm just going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 20. This is like my tried and true holy grail concealer. And it's like seven bucks. So I always put it in like a V-shape down my eye and drag it upwards because I have really bad dark circles. And then like sometimes I'll put a little bit up here, a little bit right there. These are like all the places that we want to highlight and like bring upwards and like bring attention to and then contours everything you want to bring inwards but we're not doing any of that today. So I like to let it sit for a while though, get all dried up. This is like usually when like I'll like pack my gym bag or like go do something else so that it gives it time to dry down. Okay, that should be fine. And then I just use whatever's left over on the sponge to hit my eyelids because I have super veiny eyelids.
Okay, and then to set everything, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I just do it in translucent, the matte and poreless powder. I'm just taking that, tap it off. And then just really lightly, I always go back and forth because if not, you can get like all the creasing underneath. And I feel like by going back and forth, you can get all up in there. Okay, I know that looks like we put on a lot of powder, but that wasn't a lot of powder, that was just a lot of padding. Okay, and then just to warm up the face again, because we're just all one color, there's like no dimension, and we look really pale. I'm taking the e.l.f. It's like a, a bronzer and blush duo. It's in the color Fiji. I think it's supposed to be like a dupe for the NARS um, bronzer and blush, like the orgasm duo. So I start on the forehead because I have a big forehead and uh, bronzing up the forehead gives the appearance that it's smaller. And I just lightly hit the cheeks with whatever's left over. Hit the double chin. And then just because there's powder every or like bronzer everywhere else, I want to just put some on my nose to even things out. So it's not like a nose contour. It's basically just distributing the warmth. Jaffio. And then I'll use the same blush from this duo. And just like a big, uh, I think it's like a stippling brush, like a uh, dual fiber stippling brush. And I'll use this blush. And go right on top of the bronzer. I never used to use blush, but I feel like this year blush has made like such a comeback. Or I guess the end of 2018 into 2019, like blush is cool again. Because I remember for years I just bronzed. And then I'll even take whatever's left over and just put it on my nose. So that like it looks like I got like sunburnt, kind of. And I was like in the sun, even though it's 30 degrees outside. And then we're going to highlight which is my favorite part. And I have this really busted encrusted highlighter palette from Makeup Revolution. It's the Soph X palette. It comes with eight shades. I've dropped it so many times and I'm down to like four shades, but it's like 12 bucks. I'll probably have to go pick up another one soon. But these like three shades right here, these like bottom three, I'll just like run my brush through all of them. And it's like the best highlighter ever. Oh, and I always do my nose, the tip of my nose, because I really like the way that looks. And then sometimes I'll even put some on my cupid's bow. And then because we just went real ham with all that, we're just going to take our still damp beauty blender and just go over everything to kind of press it into the skin. That way it looks like a little bit more blended. Fuck. I put on a lot of highlight. We're going to just... Go back over it a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Now for my eyebrows. I just do a little bit. I have fuller eyebrows, luckily, even though they need to be threaded really badly. But just to like kind of fill in the more sparse areas on the ends, I use the NYX Professional Makeup Precision Brow Pencil in Espresso. So it's shaped kind of like... Um, So it's got like the wider tip, so it makes it easier for me. <laughs> I just do little, little strokes so that it looks more like hair. See, it just looks a little bit more polished. And then to set my eyebrows, I'm just using the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. It once again fills in anything I might have missed and then just kind of makes them look, I don't know, more natural. 
But once I started doing this, I literally can't do my eyebrows without it. And it keeps everything obviously in place. And then last but not least, mascara. And I am um, kind of obsessed with the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise in the pink tube. I always get blackest black. And it's just got like a big like giant applicator, which I like because I want my eyelashes to look thick. Like I already have really curly eyelashes, but I want like obviously thickness to it. Thick with two C's. Shout out to the girl that lives above me that likes to spend all day and night stomping and walking back and forth through our 200 square foot apartments in heels on hardwood floors. Love you, girl. Okay, now that there's literally mascara all over my eyelids, I'll just like let this dry down it's completely dry and then I'll take a dry q-tip and then just kind of brush it off make sure you let your mascara dry before you try and clean it up or else it'll smear everywhere if you let it dry it'll just flake off okay well I just take a q-tip to get all the foundation and shit off my lips And then get all this shit off. Now that I'm done with my makeup, it's been well over 15 minutes. So now I'm going to make my breakfast and I'll show you what it is that I do most days for breakfast. Here's the bowl. So it's two packs of Trader Joe's apple cinnamon instant oat. I put about half a cup, three quarters of a cup of almond milk in it, microwave it for two minutes, and then I add some Trader Joe's crunchy or chunky all natural peanut butter, stir it up while it's still hot so then it melts, and then I add cinnamon, half a banana, and chia seeds to my oatmeal. And it's super filling. Um, it's really sweet. I mean, honestly, the apple cinnamon oatmeal has some sugar in it. It's not just steel cut oats. You can absolutely do that too. But I just really like the apple cinnamon oatmeal. Um, if you were just gonna do plain oats, I would add honey to it for some sweetness. <laughs> this is what I eat most mornings before the gym. Sometimes I can't even finish all of it. It keeps you full for a long time and yeah, highly recommend. So for today's video, I'm shooting actually the whole thing on my iPhone and I'm able to do that now because my friend showed me this new mic that you can hook directly into your iPhone. It's called the Shure MV88 Video Kit. I'm not being paid to say this, this isn't sponsored, um, but I thought it was really cool and it's super easy to just hook up to your iPhone. So there's like a tripod that comes with it and then it just plugs right into where you charge your phone and it shows you like all the levels of where your sound is and you can adjust a bunch of things. So I thought it was pretty cool and that's why today's video is gonna sound so good. So I know I showed earlier me drinking my celery juice and it was super early in the morning and I kind of just zoomed through it, but it's day four of a five day celery juice cleanse that I'm doing. And so it, basically it's one celery juice in the morning on an empty stomach. And like I said, you have to wait 15 minutes before you have your first meal in the morning. And it's not like, strictly 15 minutes, it can be just like at least 15 minutes before your first meal. So I've been doing that every day and then I'll drink about three quarters of my celery juice and then I'll add in some vitamin B complex drops just into the juice, shake it up and then drink it. And I heard about this celery juice cleanse from the medical medium and it's supposed to reduce bloating, help with your gut health, which is super important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's also really, really good for your skin. I have typically like pretty good skin normally, but I've noticed that I do have more of a glow. The past couple days, like when I've taken off my makeup, my skin just seems more even and more glowy. And who doesn't want that, especially in the winter when we're not getting any sun. Um, so it's day four, day one was super rough. The guy was bent over my counter gagging at the taste of the celery juice. But by day two and then day three and now day four, it's so, it's so much easier to drink, it's not a big deal at all. 
and you just do that in the morning and I'll have before and after pictures probably not in this video but eventually like up on my Instagram of before the celery juice cleanse and then after five days so you guys will be able to see that but so far so good I think I'm probably gonna just keep doing it past the five days and just kind of try and make it part of my everyday routine because you wake up and you put something as healthy as celery juice into your body it kind of makes you want to keep that up throughout the day and just keep making healthy choices so I really like it and I think you guys would too so <laughs> I get my juices from pressed uh, Press Juicery, we have, um, it's a chain, in, at least in California, I'm not sure where else they're at, but you can get five juices for $20 if you're a Press member. They take $10 out a month, that just goes towards juices, so it would just be a credit on, on your account for $10 every month, and you can get five juices for $20, which is so much easier than juicing it yourself. There's no cleanup, there's no prep, so I mean, I'd recommend doing that. Once again, this isn't sponsored by Press, but if they want to sponsor me, they can. But yeah, it's just what I've done and I found it's a lot easier that way. Okay, so to the gym, I usually wear some fresh combo of leggings and some type of crop top. So it's really cold outside, so I've been sticking to like the hoodie, the hoodie action lately. Um, but you know, during the summer, it'll be some type of tank crop top action. So this hoodie is just from Forever 21. Um, it was super cheap. I got it probably about a year ago. And these leggings um, are actually from a brand called Cora Fitness. Um, I found them off Instagram. It says the label somewhere down here. Um, but they're their seamless collection. And they're really, really comfortable. They're super stretchy. They're not see-through. They're squat proof. And I've been loving these at the gym lately. I actually have a discount code with them. You can type in Devony15 to save 15% off on your order. It'll be linked in the description bar below if you want to use it. Um, but these have been like my go-to leggings lately for the gym. Um, they're super comfortable. They're high-waisted. They suck you in, which we all like, I know. And yeah, obviously my hair's going to go up, but this is usually what I'll wear to the gym. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. I really wanna do a lot more lifestyle and fitness stuff on this channel. Maybe go into more depth about the celery juice cleanse that I was doing. I can take you day by day on that whole journey. Uh, maybe more workout videos, meal plans, stuff like that. So please comment down below what you'd like to see from me on this channel. It doesn't have to be fitness related, but anything you'd like to see on this channel, please comment down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I wish my upstairs neighbor was here. Just stomp in the yard during my whole video. Look at that dusty ass thing. Looks like you. <laughs> <laughs> that tastes like celery. Look at that gray hair. <gasps> it wasn't, it was a brush hair.